If God definitely doesn't break your fast because you're not fasting. All right? Okay. Now, if you go to the dentist before iftar, why would it break your fast? Because you took the injection, right? Wrong. <laughs> I'm just being <leaving> again. <laughs> Funny tonight. Uh, injections are one of the reasons why people think your fast is broken. Injections do not break your fast. So if you took a vaccine or an anesthetic or an insulin injection or otherwise, none of those would break your fast because they don't serve nourishment. They don't replace food, right? Whereas if you were to take an injection that you know puts glucose, puts sugar in your blood, you can live on that for not just 30 days, you can live on that for 300 days, you know, God forbid, in a coma or something, right? You would be fine. So that would be nutritional injections, right? You're adding nutrition to your veins, which is what food does, right? That is what would break the fast. So the injections won't be uh, breaking your fast at the dentist's office. By the way, um, people, may Allah cure all those who are sick, who go through kidney dialysis, the scholars mentioned this would break your fast as well, uh, because it's replenishing your blood. It's taking out the, the empty blood, or like the, the bad blood, and putting in fresh blood healthy blood, nourished blood. So it's the same thing as adding, in a sense, uh, nutrition uh, to your uh, to your body. And some may also include something like iron injections, because those also add nourishment, and iron is the byproduct of much of the food that we eat and otherwise. It sustains you, basically. So it won't be the needle that breaks your fast. So maybe they said, because I'm bleeding. Does bleeding break your fast? Huh? Does it or does it not? No, it does not. Small amounts of bleeding will not break your fast. I bet that if it's a big amount. If it's a big amount of bleeding, some scholars hold that it breaks your fast. It's controversial because the Prophet ﷺ said, Akhtar al hajjum wal mahjum. The person who does hijab, a hijab is like a medical procedure, a very basic one where you, you get rid of your bad blood. So he said, if you do that or it gets done to you, you broke your fast. But some scholars said this hadith only applied in the early days of Islam when they weren't used to fasting and then at the end of the years of the Prophet Sallallahu he overturned that rule. The rule was intended to be temporary and so it won't break your fast. But just in case, just in case, don't perform hijab during the daytime of Ramadan and don't deliberately get rid of a lot of blood during the daytime of Ramadan, such as, for example, blood donation, right? That would be equivalent, just in case, right? But either way, the dental would not be a lot of bleeding, right? And uh, even the scholars who believe that getting rid of blood or releasing blood breaks your fast, they also didn't include uh, blood tests because they said the amount is insignificant compared to a donation or a, uh, or a hijama. Mm -hmm. So how else could the dentist break your fast? So that's the question. So when they clean it, they, they suck you and they put some water. Fillings? So, so the third suspicion people have is that the particles, when he's like blasting your tooth with those drills they use for construction, <laughs> right? <laughs> some of it goes down your throat and that's why it breaks your fast, right? Wrong. <laughs> so they also clean with the water. They clean with the yeah. water. They have, yeah. But none of this really goes down your throat. And if it does, it doesn't go down deliberately. And even the things that break your fast, like food and drink, you know, induce these things that happen accidentally or forgetfully or against your will, those three categories will almost always get you dismissed. There's small controversy, but most scholars will say they're automatically uh, forgivable because the Prophet ﷺ said, In Allah tajawaz al ummati fil khata'i wa nasiyani wa mustakrifu ali. Allah has pardoned my ummah regarding all things accidental and all things forgetful and what they were coerced against their will to do. So how else can going to the dentist break your fast? I have no idea either. <laughs> that was sort of a fun way to try to get through what doesn't break your fast, guys.